do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. <laughs> Oh, we back in another big body banker. You feel me? Y'all see the title? You know we back on a little reaction tip. Okay, y'all been vibing with them. I've been vibing with them, so I'm gonna keep putting them out. So make sure you like the video right now for more reaction videos. Y'all can send me reaction or videos to react to over there at Juver underscore. This one I saw on my recommended page. I feel like every reaction video I've done, I've seen on my recommended page. But we're not gonna talk about it. I'm saying, um, this is out. Listen, I like animals. Okay, I love the zoo. You probably love animals. You probably love the zoo too. But some scary stuff can happen at the zoo. I've seen some scary stuff can happen at the zoo. I've seen multiple things where it's like a lion escapes an exhibit. First of all, how does a big old lion escape? How? But how does how does a lion escape without anybody noticing before it kills somebody? I never understood how that happens. Um, but it, it can be scary. But I think it's really nice. I do love the zoo. I be going all the time. I took my little siblings to the zoo uh, before I left. It was, it was fantastic. I do love the zoo. <sighs> but today we're going to be watching 11 zoo animal attacks. Yeah, that's, that's really it. I'm actually very excited to watch this. I feel like I've only seen like a couple times happen. And I don't really know the stories behind it. So hopefully this shows some nice, interesting stuff. I'm not a fan of seeing people die, but... Um, if it's cool, it's cool. I ain't even gonna hold you. Before we get into the video though, joy.com, you buy two, third, free, my luck. <laughs> say something, and I was just going, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say nothing because you know it looks sexy. You know you want it. Your girl literally saw this video and was like, oh, that man is so fine. And look at that chew rag on his head, bro. I will literally bite his bottom lip, go down on my knees, and talk to his hips. All right, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. I'm not gonna make this video long, I promise. But you know when I have to pause and evaluate and, an and analyze every situation, I'm gonna do it. But let's 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 get right into this, man. I just hope it's not a boring commentator, cause I hate I hate when it be boring commentators. Like I feel like I can do a lot better commentary than most of these people, but I just don't be knowing what the heck is going on. Like I see a lion just like killing the a uh, person, and I'll be like, dang, the lion's just killing the person right now. You can obviously see the lion's killing the person. I don't have anything to explain. You see the lion's killing the person. I'll be my commentary. These people going to death talking about, and about 30 meters over, you see the lion running at a 14 degree angle towards the human being who's about 6'4. You see how the lion has no problem taking him down. Dang, my screaming coin wasn't even going. I don't even freaking care. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's get right into this, man. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's Katrina from people trying to take the best selfie to Is this Katrina her ugly self? Oh, Hi everyone, it's ugly Katrina, self Katrina from people trying to take the freaking best doodle head, freaking duck lip, ugly eyebrows, M-shaped hairline, stupid <laughs> ears, red for no reason, puckering your lips out for what, holding the iPhone 3 for what, looking stupid with your hair all freaking luxurious and stupidness and your, your sweaty balls and alright, I got fruit snacks, well this ain't fruit snacks, um, I don't even know where I got these from. I think I got it from the airport. Come on, bro. Get my freaking mouth. Yeah, come on. Selfie to accidents waiting to happen. Here are 11 zoo animal attacks. All right. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey. This music is fuck. Number 11. Rhino attacks zookeeper. In early 20... Hold on one second. Be honest. Would you be a zookeeper? Like, honestly. Like, I feel like I could be a zookeeper for, like, the flamingos or, like, the turtles or something like that. But if I go into work one day and they're like, yeah, you handling the lions today. It's looking slow, my guy. I ain't, I ain't feeding no lions because I'm going to be the food. You could keep me with the, the turtles and the penguins and, like, the flamingos. Yeah, I got you with that. I'll hold that on every day. I promise. I'll work eight hours a day. I love them. I'll care for them. i them. A lion, though? Bugging out. In 2018, a senior zookeeper was suddenly attacked by a 4.4 ton rhinoceros at the Mogo Zoo along the southern coast of New South Wales, Australia. The 47-year-old woman was feeding the animal when Kay, a southern white rhino, suddenly impaled her arm with his horn. She was air- Let's pause for a second. She says suddenly impaled its arm. Now, I don't know if you know anything about a rhino, but it's big and it- it's not sudden about a rhino. It's not like she was feeding it and all of a sudden she looked down like, oh, 
My arm's been impaled. No. He charged at her. Went straight through. It was nothing sudden about it. Airlifted to Canberra Hospital, where she received treatment for a puncture wound and a suspected broken arm. The privately owned zoo referred to the otherwise routine encounter as a freak accident, reassuring the curious public that the zookeeper's injuries were minimal and that her recovery was going very well. Kay, the rhino, was also reportedly doing well after what zoo owner Sally Patey called a minor incident. But a minor incident? You know what's not gonna be minor? Your, your freaking lawyer fees when I sue you for everything you own. Minor incident? That, look at the, look at, okay, let me break this down Just for y'all. Look, safe, look at his horn. Zoo said they would revise their Wait, safety pause. protocols. Probably a good idea. Right there, look at his horn. You see how thick that John is? That's John like, like this big, mad thick, you feel me? It's not like a knife would just stick you and it's like a little, a little sticking thing. That thing is like this thick at the tip. It's this thick at the tip. Big paws, no homo, nothing like that, but it's this thick at the tip. So if it, if it punctures you, that's a big old hole in your arm. That's like a, a baseball stabbing through your freaking arm. That ain't no minor incident. I'll sue you for all your minor incidents. But, you know. The incident came five years after a rhino bit a zookeeper at Taronga. What type of idiot gets bit by a rhino? Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo, Australia, nearly severing the 34-year-old's thumb. She too was feeding the animal when the attack occurred. It seems like rhinos get cranky when they're fed. Why that rhino look so thick? <laughs> no homo. Well, look. Who was feeding the animal when the attack <laughs> Why? It seems like. <laughs> that, never mind. I ain't going to say that. But rhinos look. get cranky when they're fed. Maybe they should be fed from a distance and make sure to give them their space. Number 10. Tiger Mall's Woman. A terrifying tiger attack at Beijing Badaling Wildlife World left one woman dead and another severely injured in mid 2016. Disturbing footage of the incident shows a woman exiting a car only to be attacked and dragged What the away heck? Wait a second, pause. Wait, okay, pause. I need to break this the heck down. This lady is chilling. She just opened the door. What type of zoo is this? This is real life. She is literally parking her car going to her grandparents house or something. But it the incident shows a woman exiting a car only to be Out of nowhere, a, a, a tiger comes talking about some uh, mine now. Uh mine now. First of all, why they got the picture like this? Look at this. Why is it these two white people holding the iPad talking about some uh, wife? I mean, honey, look at this. <laughs> and he smiles. Look, when the lion comes and gets her, or the tiger comes and gets her, he smiles. Why would the editor for this video put this in here? But look, look at the dude, he goes smile. Disturbing footage of the incident shows a woman exiting a car only to be attacked. You see that? They set it up. They literally set it up. He's like, my plan is coming into fruition. Freaking can't trust, can't trust people that, that watch a, a show and they both hold one corner of it. You cannot trust people like that. Mean. Disturbing footage of the incident shows a woman exiting a car only to be attacked and dragged away almost immediately. That dude, very bold, a lot bolder than me. I personally, me and myself personally, um, if you my girl or whatever, and I see a lion come and sue you, like swoop you, I'm gonna be like, yo, God, who am I to go against your plans? You know what I'm saying, if, like, who am I? Like, why would I run out? Like, he's bold, he's bolder than me, he's strong. Let's W's in the chat for this man. By a tiger. Moments later, another woman got out of the same car, presumably to help her friend, and a different tiger fatally mauled. What type of tigers? They just got tigers just coming out, just coming out the woodworks, right? Wait, fatally? Wait, hold on. F killed her? Got out of the same car, presumably to help her friend, and a different tiger fatally mauled her. Park. Imagine help. Imagine seeing your friend, right? You a diehard friend. That's your day one, right there. Not seeing. You see her get scooped by a tiger. You like, bro, I'm about to save this girl. She 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 to help me do everything. I can't let the tiger do this to her. Right out there. She gets away. You're like, yay, we made it. We did it. We saved her from the tiger. Now the tiger come out here is almost like, ha, dead. And she didn't come back for you. Imagine. Hate to see it. Rangers appear to arrive on scene within seconds, according to the footage, but their attempts to save the mortally wounded woman were in vain. The survivor received medical treatment, but the Yangqing district government did not disclose any other details, including the extent of her injuries. 
An argument between the two women reportedly caused one of them to exit the vehicle while a third male occupant remained in the car unharmed. Visitors are permitted to drive around the wildlife park, but are warned to avoid leaving their vehicles in areas where animals roam freely Dang. for their safety and yours. The argument must have gotten out of control, and it is believed the cats picked up on the anxiety, causing them to attack. Try to avoid having a huge fight around wild animals. Number 9. Dang, Brown there was fighting too? That, that makes it worse, low key. Or better. Well, no, worse. But why would she get out the car? I don't care how much I'm mad at somebody. How, if we're in the middle of a, a tiger exhibit or something like that, I ain't getting out the car. Uh, we can fight back home. I don't need a fight right here in the middle of all these fierce beasts. Bear attack. Vera Blisk, an experienced zookeeper and animal activist, was showing a new staff member how to tend to a bear cage at the Usurisk Municipal Zoo when a 20-year-old female Himalayan bear named Manunya swiped its claws at her in September 2019. She kneeled down to show how to feed a bear, then quickly stood up and felt dizzy, a colleague and witness to the tragic event said. To gain balance, Vera leaned towards a cage for a split second. Dang. This was enough for a bear to pull its paw through the cage's bars and to strike. Doctors were unable to save the woman's lower leg, Dang. but the victim was anything but bitter. Moments after waking up from her amputation, Vera called for the bear not to be punished or euthanized. The woman had a history of acknowledging the inherent dangers that come along with interacting with wild bears, Dang. saying at one point, even by just kissing the bear, now I might lose my head within a split second. To work with a bear, you must have a special feeling, she said. We say it's a feeling sent by God. You must feel a bear. Yeah, you definitely gotta be called by God to be over here talking about some, let me tend for a freaking 12,000 or 1,200 pound bear. Gotta be. Ain't no regular person that stupid. Number eight, elephant versus instructor. Lucy Mello, a zookeeper at the time. I ain't never seen nobody attacked by an elephant. I thought elephants were nice. What the heck? Zoo in Sydney, Australia, sustained severe injuries in October 2012 when a two-year-old Asian elephant. A two-year-old? You got beat up by a two-year-old? Well, that is kind of old. I don't know why they showed the picture of this baby elephant. This is probably like two months old. But yeah, two, two years old is pretty old for an elephant. Half named Pathy Harn pinned her against a post while she taught the creatures how to wash themselves. About a month later, the then 40-year-old woman wrote a blog revealing details of the attack, explaining that she knew just seconds beforehand that the young pachyderm was considering challenging her. Just two days before the unfortunate incident occurred, Pathy Harn had tried blocking a grown female three times his size from leaving the pool area of the exhibit, according to the Manly Daily, boosting the elephant's confidence in a less than desired way. He was just enjoying it as usual, Mello said in her description of the attack. As the session was coming to an end, I asked for one simple final behavior. He offered me a slightly different behavior than the one I had asked. I asked him again for the correct version. When he did not respond, I sensed a behavioral change in him and realized that he was thinking of challenging me. As Mello cautiously oh. made her way toward the stall's exit, Pathy Harn raised his trunk and slammed her body against a metal post. His trunk on my chest took my breath away, which made it impossible Dang, for me. Dang, why is she humping the thing like this? She is over here clapping the freaking, look at, she clapping it. Against a metal she post. literally, she got the strap on, the young M.A. strap on. She clapping the elephant. Look, watch. His trunk on my chest took Dang, my breath away. Dang, she going stupid too. Look at her. She really hit that thing. It's impossible for me yeah. to talk and tell yeah. him to stop, the yeah. zookeeper recalled. Yeah. Mello's co-workers came to her aid, and once the short ordeal was over, Pathy Harn acted like it had never happened. He was moved to a more controlled training environment while Mello was treated for her injuries, including cracked ribs. Despite the traumatizing experience, she reported feeling eager to return to work. Number 7. Jaguar Selfie Attack A woman who climbed into a jaguar exhibit at the this. Wildlife World Zoo near Phoenix, Arizona in early 2019 learned the hard way that safety is more important than selfies. Thanks. A female jaguar attacked the woman who had entered the enclosure to take photos of herself with the big cats. Cries for help led fellow zoo-goers to the scene, where the woman was pinned up against the animal's cage with its claws sunken into her arm. 
An onlooker attempted to distract the jaguar by jamming a water bottle through a hole in the cage. The cat released her claw from the woman's arm, but kept a firm hold on her sweatshirt, at which point bystanders grabbed the woman and pulled her out of the cage, AZ Central reported. While her injuries were non-life-threatening, the bite victim's arm was reportedly in bad shape. Meanwhile, an investigation showed that the Wildlife World Zoo was in compliance with safety rules and regulations. The facts are just a stupid, a stupid female trying to get a selfie that would probably still only get like 45 likes. Imagine risking your life for 45 likes. Imagine being that stupid. Hate to see it. 18. Zoo staff decided not to euthanize the big cat, asserting that the jaguar was not doing anything wrong he by wasn't. acting instinctively he was when someone crossed Reward the him. territory. Was the jaguar selfie worth it? I don't think so. Number six, Binky likes. the polar bear. This incident serves as a somewhat surprising reminder that selfie culture dates back far earlier than we tend to realize. In 1994, an Australian woman named Catherine Warburton hopped over two safety barricades around a polar bear exhibit at the Alaska Zoo in Anchorage, hoping to get a close-up with a bear named Binky. The then 29-year-old received an unpleasant surprise when Binky leaned forward and grasped onto her, latching his jaws onto her thighs and prompting bystanders to hit the polar bear with a stick in an attempt to get him to release Dang. Warburton. Thankfully, the woman broke free and received necessary medical treatment. For Warburton, the consequences of imposing on a wild animal's territory included a broken leg and bite wounds, as well as surgery. Naturally, people were conflicted about whether to blame the woman for what happened to her. Conflicted? Why you go blame the woman? She went into this man's crib. Imagine somebody pulling up to your crib, trying to get a picture with you. Ah, killed him in a second. Ah, you lucky the pair didn't kill you. He just bit you. Freaking happy big body. I know she probably big body too. She probably weighed the same amount as fucking polar bear. I don't know how she climbed over the exhibit. Freaking big body booty. I mean, big body booty, what the heck? Let's finish the video. With many, including zoo director Sam Ye Sewell, believing the woman was responsible for her injuries. Facts. She did it to herself, and Facts. it wasn't the zoo's fault. Facts. To Warburton's credit, she admitted from the hospital that getting too close to Binky was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Probably Those not. He seems like the person do a lot of dumb stuff. The disturbing encounter was released to the public in 2015, sparking a renewed interest in the seemingly long forgotten Together. How are you going to eat me with an ad, bro? Come together, on, man. Just like they did. Healthcare. Case. Number five, Goo Goo the Panda. By now, you would think that most people know better than to get too close to a wild animal, including those held captive at zoos. But it seems as if this lesson will never be learned, as evidenced by a 2009 incident at the Beijing Zoo, where a 240-pound giant panda named Goo Goo attacked a visitor who had climbed what? over a... What? Why is she giving the neck? Why is that polar bear giving that man neck? What is with all these sus drawings they have in this video? She really giving this man neck. A 40 pound Watch. giant panda named Goo Goo attacked a visitor who had climbed over. I'm giving him that Guac Guac 3000, bro. That great food technology, a million. Like, what? Over a five foot barrier surrounding the exhibit to retrieve his child's toy. Giant pandas are adorable, but they are still wild. This wasn't the first time Goo Goo attacked a zoo visitor. Just two years earlier, he became aggressive with another zoo visitor who was drunk and climbed in with the panda, trying to give it a big hug. In another incident, Goo Goo also latched on a teenager's legs who entered his exhibit. Why does everyone keep trying to hang out with this panda? In they trying Goo Goo! Goo Goo is not the one. Goo Goo is not the one to be tried. She ain't. He ain't. Whatever it is. People keep, it's not that she be acting crazy to the zookeepers, nothing like that. People keep going into her exhibit. She ain't the one. Find another one. Encounters like these remind us of the importance of respecting an animal's space and understanding that however cute and cuddly they may appear, we as humans are not meant to go near them. The father who was attacked while trying to get his child's toy from Goo Goo's exhibit sustained damage to major ligaments as zookeepers struggled to pry Goo That great neck! That fantastic neck. Gugu's mouth open and free the man's leg. He required major surgery to repair the damage. The lesson to be learned here? Zoo enclosures are intended to keep us out as much as they're meant to keep animals in. Replacing an item you dropped into an exhibit, including a child's toy, is a much smaller price to pay than having your body torn to shreds. Number four. Harry the Hippo. 
A British man named Richard McCormick eagerly began his job as a zookeeper at the Whitley Zoo in Coventry, England in 1966. Within a short time, he was looking after large animals including elephants, bears, and a hippo named Harry. While entering Harry's cage to clean it one day, a safety barrier malfunctioned, causing a heavy door to hit the hippo's rear end. Dang. As I'm sure you can imagine, the 3.3 ton creature was not happy and wasted no time attacking McCormick. He grabbed my head between his jaws and dragged me off into his pool. How? How is he alive? The hippo got I seen the video of the hippo crushing the watermelon with his head. He did that easily. His head, he's doing like these with the head. That looks sus, but you look, look. Cool, McCormick recalled in a BBC interview. I felt my ribs crack. I was scared to death. I thought I was going to die. You, you Weeks earlier, much. Harry had a tusk removed due to a toothache. The absence of this tusk ultimately proved life-saving for McCormick, who would have most likely been impaled. A fellow employee overheard McCormick's screams and rushed to the scene where he hit Harry with a metal bar, prompting the hippo to drop his victim out of his mouth. McCormick was rushed to the hospital with a punctured liver, broken ribs, and a broken collarbone. All things considered, it could have turned out much worse. That's facts. The man has no hard feelings against Harry for what happened, despite his body bearing teeth marks from the attack. Bugging out! I'm not being a zoo creeper for that. I'm not. Look how why is no mouth hard open? feelings against Harry for what happened, despite his body. Come on, bro! I ain't doing that. Bearing teeth marks from the attack over 50 years later. Number 3. Siberian Tiger vs. Zookeeper In early June of this year, a Siberian tiger fatally attacked a zookeeper at the Zurich Zoo in Switzerland. Zoo visitors alerted staff to the encounter and zookeepers rushed into the enclosure in an attempt to spare their co-worker from death. They successfully lured the tiger named Irina away from the scene, but by then the damage had been done. The 55-year-old woman Irina had attacked was gone. The zoo opened an investigation to find out why the zookeeper was inside the enclosure. Meanwhile, Irina was relocated to another cage, and the zoo announced that she would endure no punishments for what occurred. The tiger is a wild animal, zoo officials asserted in a statement following the attack. A person in their facility is an intruder into their territory. In her reaction, she only followed her natural instincts. This shocking incident serves as a sobering reminder that no matter how well trained you are, sometimes a wild captive animal will act according to instinct Facts. rather than what it was taught. Number Bro, start with the eggs! His whole career working on the things I'm gonna put a million ads in this video just because they're doing this for me. For all. Freaking ridiculous. Number 2. Bear vs. Woman in Glass Box While this wasn't exactly at a zoo, as far as I could tell, it seems like a terrifying experience. A woman was sitting in a glass box hanging out observing a bear, all in the name of entertainment. Supposedly this was for a Japanese game show. She was ready to record the experience to see what would happen, and the bear was not happy. Grizzly bears are extremely strong and powerful predators, weighing between 700 and 1,700 pounds. It turned on the woman, tossing the glass box around, most likely trying to get what was inside. Needless to say, the woman was terrified, and as many videos will show you, she was screaming as the bear literally flipped the case over. In this case, the attack was real, but the setup was intentional. It is some sort of game or challenge from a new show that was leaked, apparently called Predator Shield. Have any of you heard about this? Or do you know more about what happened? Let me know in the comments below. All I know is bears are super dangerous and nobody asked me, but I think this challenge is an accident waiting to happen. It can be really bad for both the bear and the person inside the box. Number one, Harambe. One of the most controversial. R.I.P. Harambe, not saying. R.I.P. Harambe. And well-known incidents of a zoo animal attacking began with a four-year-old boy falling into a gorilla exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo on May 28, 2016. A 17-year-old, 450-pound silverback gorilla named Harambe approached the unfortunate child and began dragging him around like a rag doll, prompting efforts to save the little boy. Harambe's intentions were unclear as he alternated between simply standing over the child in a seemingly protective stance and roughly pulling the kid from place to place throughout the Me personally, I think that um I see this finished watching this and I'm gonna Closure. After a 10-minute long standoff between Harambe and Zoo staff, 
the zookeepers felt they had no choice but to euthanize the gorilla to preserve the child's safety. The Cincinnati Zoo said it was a difficult decision to end Harambe's life, but outraged activists weren't buying their claims that the measure was necessary. Some social media users went as far as calling for criminal charges against the child's apparently distracted mother for not watching her son closely enough to prevent him from falling into the exhibit. But the authorities yeah. chose not to arrest the boy's mom as they felt she was not being negligent enough to constitute a crime. This came as good news for supporters of the mother who understood how quickly things can go wrong in just seconds while watching multiple children, which is what she was doing when her son tumbled into Harambe's enclosure. While the zoo was quick to defend the exhibit as being safe and up to standard, they also implemented beams and rope netting to the barrier and increased its height to prevent any more needless tragedies in the future. Zoo authorities say the same decision would be made today, since a tranquilizer may have taken too long to take effect. The family of the toddler said to donate to the zoo in honor of Harambe and that they are very sorry for the terrible incident. I personally think Harambe was trying to protect the kid. I personally think they said the only thing that made it seem like he was aggressive is because he was like pulling him around and stuff like that aggressively. But that's what that's he just moving around. That's how like they bring their cubs and stuff like that. You feel me? They just be like grabbing them and moving them around. I'm saying. So I think he personally was trying to protect him. Harambe should not have been killed. They could have shot like ten tranquilizer guns at him or something, so it acted faster. But they 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 didn't do that. Uh, they just wanted to kill him. A hey, uh, Black Lives Matter and. Hey. Her on by the thousand matter. But um, yes, and if you're enjoying make sure you like right now. Don't be stupid and go to the zoo and try to get a selfie or try to get close to the animals because the animals will kill you and I will not feel bad. Neither will anybody else. They, they will be happy. Well, they, they won't be happy. They'll be they'll be like, don't don't hurt the animal. It wasn't the animal's fault. And you'll just be dead because you just wanted to pet the tiger. I'm Billy and I want to pet the tiger. Freaking idiot. Hate to see it. That's about it. I'm a seat. Y'all. Ouch. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through